Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 29th of April, 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session on this Monday afternoon. Okay, let's look across the news. Of course, we had a strong session on Friday. Stocks rallying with the S&P 500 bouncing to post the best week since November, despite the warmer than expected PCE data that came across the wires prior to market open. We're seeing some follow through in Asia with the US futures up. Asian markets are generally following that strong US lead and are higher this morning with the ASX two thirds of a percent to the upside. European futures are also pointing to a higher open this afternoon. US dollar index was slightly higher on Friday. Gold edged higher after the drop earlier last week. It is a bit weaker in Asia today. Uh, copper also a little bit soft today but edged higher again towards two-year highs to close the week and all remains in a relatively tight range. Bitcoin had a very choppy week last week and is still trading around 65,000. Not a massive amount of movement today so far. And on the data front, we've obviously got German CPI and Eurozone consumer confidence due today, as well as earnings ramping up in the US. We've got US Jobs Week with the non-farm payrolls on Friday, of course the Fed rate decision later in the week, all of which have significant market moving potential. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, let's start in the FX market. and We're looking at the Aussie USD. You can see the hourly chart there. We've had a really strong start to the day in Asia, which has taken us through the 6550 R1 pivot. We see this potentially making its way up to 6592 maybe even 66 if the, this momentum continues certainly looks strong at this stage if we just pop it on a four hourly chart for context you can see there isn't much to stop us in terms of a move up to this point we had this straight down candle there you can see last week so that looks as though the buyers are in today and we could see this move higher during the course of the session on the ASX, we're liking Illumina Limited, ticker code AWC. You can see we're having another go at this 160 level, which looks quite important technically. We'll just take it back to the weekly chart. You'll see the importance of this level here and a possible move up to a test around about 170 should we breach this level. Uh, that would re represent a move up in excess of 6%. So really worth keeping an eye on. We suspect that there may be some buying coming into materials this week, depending on how strong or otherwise the data is. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.